All right, I got a fun one for you guys today. My, a buddy of mine gave me a bunch of gears from a transmission and a differential on a little car. And I believe this gear is from the differential. It's eight inches in diameter. And I'm gonna try to make a knife out of it. Should be a pretty good challenge. But first thing is first is I can't fit it in my forge, so I'm gonna have to cut it in half. But it's it's actually 24 inches all the way around, which is plenty of metal to make a knife. And more than likely, I'm gonna end up having to cut these grooves off to avoid getting any cracks or anything in the blade later on. So let's get started. Cut it out as best as I could. Still a lot of meat on there, but I'll take care of that hereafter. Next, I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the forge and anneal it and then straighten it up. And from there, we'll go ahead and start taking all these teeth off and grinding everything flush and getting ready to turn it into a knife. Should do the trick. Doesn't even look like a gear anymore, but hard to believe what it started as already, let alone what's going to be when I'm done. Now let's get the forge fired back up.
least that part of it. Next, if you remember right, I put the clay on the spine of the knife, and that is what's called a differential heat treat. So when I heated it up in Quinstant, the spine of the knife stayed nice and soft while the edge got nice and hard. And if everything worked right, when I dip it in this vinegar here for a couple hours, it should bring out a nice line separating the hard and soft metal right down the edge. So let's go ahead, I'm going to clean it first with some carburetor cleaner. Preferably use acetone or something like that. I just don't have any on hand and this stuff should still do the trick. All we're going to do is spray it down and stick it inside the container. Let it sit there for at least a couple hours. And the longer it sits, the deeper the etch will get. And I think a couple hours will probably do it for this guy. Make sure you get nice and clean. If there's anything on there, any oil or anything like that, it could interfere with your etch and it may not do it. So it's better just to make sure you do it right the first time. I just stuck a pin in the handle right here to hold it suspended in there. And if I'm lucky enough, this guy should fit. Right in. Let him sit for a few hours and I'll show you guys the results. Alright. You guys might recognize this. This is the other half of the gear. I went ahead and I straightened it out and we ground off the bag just like I did the first piece. And since I'm waiting several hours for the knife to etch, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into the handle, which is going to be pretty cool. So first thing I'm going to go ahead and do, I flattened it as best I could, which is not perfect, but it's pretty close. I mean, it's not bad, but from a machining standpoint, it's not even close. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put it on my mill, machine one side down, flip it over, get the other side, and then lay it flush on this side and flatten the back. And then I'm going to mill some slots in it on, for, so it'll basically encapsulate the tang of the knife. And then if there's enough material left, I'm also going to try to make a guard out of it, which should make for a pretty epic knife. Alright, let's get started.
I gotta say guys, this is definitely one of the more challenging knives that I've probably ever made. All these metal pieces that had to fit just perfectly. And even then, after all that hard work, it still has a little wobble in the guard. But This knife was made entirely out of gears. The only thing on here that is not part of a gear are the two screws that are used to hold the handle on. And also guys, this knife, I gotta say, it's taken me quite a while. I've been working on this video for probably about a month. I ended up, after I fit these handles originally, which I'd never do bring this up in the video, there was a big gap up here. I don't know what happened, something moved on me, and I just had a big old gap and it really made me mad at the time, so I threw it down and it actually sat there for probably about two weeks before I picked it up again. But that's where this guard came from. That was that idea. And I'm really glad it happened that way. This thing is just a sexy little knife right here. Little by no means. It weighs quite a lot too. I mean at least a couple of pounds. But it's nice and sharp now. This thing's just got... It just looks crazy. Everything about this knife is pretty awesome. It's definitely one of my favorites. The finish, however, because I was going for a hamon, it did not end up showing it. And that is common. Some steels will show it, some steels will not. It's definitely hard to pass the file test after heat treat. So I'm not sure what that's all about, but it did leave a rather unique finish on it. It's kind of grown on me after a while, last month anyway. And it kind of matches with the handle. It really is just a trench knife. And a very sexy one at that. Go ahead and test the edge real quick. She's back on. This is some good steel. After a little bit of research I did do, it is high carbon steel. There's no doubt about that. Let's see if I can show you guys this real quick. Right. Find a place that has a little more hair here. I can't do this left handed. You guys can tell I sharpen a lot of knives, constantly testing them. You can definitely shave with this guy. That was a little scary. I'm right handed. I don't usually use a knife in my left hand. That's why there's so much hair on this arm still. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And also, if you're interested in purchasing this knife, I will be posting it on my Etsy store, which a link should pop up up here. It is definitely, it took me quite a lot of time, and in, as far as I know, this no one's ever made a knife out of a gear. I can't be totally sure on that, but what little research I did, I couldn't find anything. Especially the whole knife, the handle, guard, everything. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night.